हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन इंडिया लार्जेस्ट लाइव ई लर्निंग एजुकेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज ग्रेडअप फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर आई स्टार्ट दिस सेशन फ्रेंड्स इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू टेल मी whether my audio and visual quality is okay for you so that i can proceed with the session all the candidates who are live now please quickly tell me whether my audio and visual quality is okay for you Good evening Zian how are you Please tell me whether my audio and visual quality is okay for you GB Raju good evening Okay so Nidin is saying clear Now friends before I start today's session it is very important that I tell you how we are going to take up this particular session how we are going to take up this particular subject Today we are going to start electrical machines in the startup series for gate and engineering services aspirants and let me tell you that in these sessions we are going to learn electrical machines from the very fundamental point of view everything everything in full detail we will be discussing every concept every principle working principle construction so many things we will see step by step and if you are interested if you find this session worthy for you then you can go to the grade up app and you can see the exact schedule for this uh, particular sessions they are going to be conducted from 8:30 pm daily monday to uh, saturday and it is going to be very helpful for your exams especially for those candidates who are starting their preparation because in this session we are going to take up each and every part of your subject electrical machines from the very basic point of view and i will be discussing mostly things in english but if you have any problem regarding the language issue if you are not comfortable with english then you can ask me anywhere if you have any doubt definitely i will be more than happy to repeat the same thing in your concerned language hindi or english nidpe uh, nidin is asking daily classes yes monday to saturday it is going to be 8:30 zyan i am fine praveen sai krishna palani navya all of you prasoon keyur patel how are you i remember some of the students from my previous class related to power system just just tell me hi in the comment section so that i can get to know that how many of you were in my power system startup class almost one or one and a half month before anupam verma good evening how are you sai krishna goli hi sir how are you sai krishna all of you please quickly tell me any one of you have you have you attended my power system startup series i think one and a half month before if not if not then it is available in the gate channel of the grade up on youtube you can go for it or the best thing is you can go to the grade up app and directly you can see different playlists related to my subjects yes uh, nidin i think you were there perfect so now let us start the session the first slide on your screen shows how to wash your hands so that you protect yourself and others against the infections related to the novel corona virus this is the initiative started by team grade up termed as hashtag #prep is smart stay safe these are the steps you should wash your hands under the direct tap water apply soap rub hands palm to palm lather the backs of your hands scrub between your fingers rub the back of the fingers on the opposing palms clean thumbs wash fingernail fingertips then wash your hands under the direct tap water and dry your hands by using a towel and switch off the tap by using a tissue paper or the towel and now your hands are clean this whole procedure should should approximately take 20 second approximately as per the government regulation It's okay I don't need any appreciation Rachna I just wanted to know whether you were continuing from that class or not 
Now, some of the students may be joining me for the first time. So, let me give you a very brief introduction of myself. My name is Ashutosh Saxena. I have 9 plus years of teaching experience in this field that is the gate and engineering services field and uh, I take lot of subjects in electrical and electronics engineering. For example, in electrical engineering, I deal with power system, electrical machines, electromagnetics, engineering materials and engineering ethics. I have written couple of books also. If you are interested, one of the book written by me on engineering ethics is already in market. You can go for it. The next screen, uh, next slide on your screen shows the contact number for the control room which is being set up at the national level to address the queries related to the novel coronavirus. You may reach this number for any guidance, support and technical queries. And this we are also communicating under the initiative hashtag prep smart stay safe as started by team grader. Now there is one more information my dear friend that by going through the today's situation in which our country is or the whole world is, we all are quarantined, we all are secluded in our home to stay safe from this novel coronavirus. So grade up is, grade up is providing you free of cost classes on the grade up app or the grade up channel. 9 a.m. for electrical students, engineering services 2020 mains practice classes are running by MN Ramesh sir, Chandan sir and Rakesh Talareja sir. Chandan sir is taking concept on fingertips at 12 p.m. My, I am taking the ethics classes for engineering services 2021 at 1 p.m. Vijay Bansal sir is taking concept on fingertips classes at 2 p.m. And MN Ramesh sir is taking concept on fingertips at 7 p.m. So you can enjoy your learning. Now let us start with this particular subject, electrical machines. Now first question I would ask you. What is the basic understanding you have for an electrical machine? Please try to understand what is an electrical machine as far as this subject is concerned. Yes, Manish, this is the first class. Shiva, this is the first class for electrical machines. We are about to start electrical machines. Today we will be discussing the magnetic circuits and some background required to study electrical machines and then we will slowly proceed. Now please try to understand what is electrical machine. It is an electromechanical energy conversion device okay a machine is nothing but an electromechanical energy conversion device what is the idea the idea is suppose if this is your emec device if this is your emec device and you provide mechanical input and you are getting electrical output then it is your generator action. Vice versa, if you are providing electrical input and you are getting mechanical output, then it is going to be motoring action or motor action. I hope it is clear to all of you. Anupam Verma is saying which converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy and vice versa. Beautiful, beautiful explanation my dear friend. But the most important point here is that if you see, let me just change the color of my pen so that you understand it better. This is a mechanical system. This is a mechanical system. Yes or no? And this is an electrical system. This is an electrical system. Now the energy transfer from mechanical to electrical or electrical to mechanical, it is going to happen through a common medium which we are calling as coupling field. Coupling field is very, very important. Now please try to understand what is the purpose of coupling field? 
coupling field it facilitates the energy conversion from electrical to mechanical or vice versa or mechanical to electrical perfect now please try to understand coupling field you can either use electric field or magnetic field but you must be knowing this thing देखो जिनको ये चीजें आती हैं उनके लिए एक रिवीजन हो जाएगा और जिन लोग जो लोग पहली बार पढ़ रहे हैं क्योंकि हमें सब्जेक्ट को बिल्कुल फंडामेंटल तरीके से स्टार्ट करना है तो थोड़ा सा आपको पेशेंस रखना पड़ेगा सो देट वी कम टू द रियल पॉइंट्स ठीक है थोड़ा पेशेंस रखना पड़ेगा इन जनरल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज preferred as a coupling field because its energy storing capacity is almost 35 to 40000 times that of the electrical field the energy storing capacity of the magnetic field is 35000 to 40000 times that of the electric field i hope it is clear okay now before we start this as you know that definitely we are going to use the magnetic field as a coupling medium or the coupling field between the electrical system and the mag magnetic uh, mechanical system it is very important that you understand basics about magnetic field i hope it is clear to all of you now you please try to understand the first and foremost concept about magnetic field that you should understand is ampere's law there are other laws also but we will be focusing only only on those laws which are important from our point of view otherwise there is a altogether a different subject electro magnetic field theory there you can study all the properties of the electric field and the magnetic field but we will be focusing only on those areas which are directly related to our concepts of electrical machines i hope it is clear what is ampere's law ampere's law ampere's law says that the closed line integral of h dot dl gives you i and closed this is ampere's law okay where this c is the closed line contour this is very very important at all points on this contour the h must be either tangential or normal at all the points where h is tangential it should be same these are the two important points which you should consider when you are deciding this closed line contour h dot dl what is this dl dl closed integration gives you a closed line contour and how you are going to decide this contour which shape you should take so you should take this shape by 
considering these two points number one at all points on this contour the edge must be either tangential or normal the second point at all the points where edge is tangential it should be same perfect hi venkat how are you i hope it is clear to all of you now let us have one more important information related to the magnetic field or the magnetic systems the closed integral b dot ds is equal to 0 this is the integration form or you can say in the differential form divergence of b is 0 this is very very important please try to understand it says that magnetic field does not have monopoles what is the meaning of this statement the meaning of this statement is for example suppose you take the example of electric field suppose you take the example of electric field for electric field if this is a positive charge then electric flux lines are going to be emanating or diverging in this fashion yes or no and if it is a negative charge then electric line of forces are going to be converging like this yes or no it means when it comes to electric field the source can be or the monopoles can exist independently positive and negative charge can exist independently but if you come to the magnetic field my dear friend for magnetic field monopoles do not exist it means north pole and south pole cannot exist independently I hope it is clear to all of you. You must have read it somewhere. Now please try to understand. It means. It means the. Magnetic flux. Linked. With a. Closed surface. Is always zero. I hope it is clear to all of you. Please tell me quickly yes or no in the comment section whether this much understanding of the electric field is clear for you or not. Are you okay with this understanding? Please tap yes or no in the comment section so that I can get your response. And I can see the number of people are more and why the number of likes are so less. Please increase the number of likes. Jaydeep Prajapati is asking a very fundamental question. He is asking, sir, how to make notes after attending the online classes? Jaydeep, please try to understand. You just note down the crux of the class. No single class is going to be more than one hour. For that one hour class, you can write down the crux of that class in not more than one page. I hope. And you should always try to revise that page, not the whole class. That is the idea. I hope it is clear. You can watch it again or simultaneously you can make the notes. I understand your problem, but we have to go like this. We have no other choice. I hope it is clear. Now, please try to understand. Let me give you some more points. If you want to know the distribution of magnetic flux okay now let us try to discuss some important points related to the distribution of magnetic flux because this is something this distribution of magnetic flux is something which is going to trouble you throughout this subject if you are not comfortable with this distribution of magnetic flux then it is going to be very difficult for you to understand different machines AC and DC machines from the very fundamental point of view and in gate exams any time he can put out koi PSU milne ke chance hai mil sakta hai Nitish beta 
आई आई एम नॉट श्योर बट मिल भी सकता है यू जस्ट गो फॉर इट एंड आई होप दैट यू विल गेट योर डेस्टिनी ओके नाउ लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स ओके let me just change the color of the pen now suppose you have a core like this this is a core this is a core who is having a very high permeability high permeability okay what is the meaning of high permeability anupam verma is saying sir please explain the second point what is that second point okay i hope you are asking about this second point yes see i am saying magnetic flux linked with a closed surface is always zero always zero why i am saying so please try to understand suppose you are having a closed surface like this suppose this is a sphere okay suppose this is a sphere and i have already told you that in case of magnetic field individual monopoles do not exist it means north pole and south pole do not exist independently wherever north pole is present south pole will be present wherever south pole is present north pole, north pole will be present okay now please try to understand if north pole and south pole both are together present inside this circle it means whatever flux lines are starting from north pole they are converging to south pole it means what the total flux which is emanating out from this closed surface is converging back to this surface so that the total flux linked with a closed surface in case of magnetic field is always zero this is one of the most favorite question being asked in the gate examination sometimes he will give you very big big language and he will simply ask what is the total flux linked with the closed surface it is always zero because north pole and south pole cannot exist independently i hope it is clear to all of you yes yes shri krishna boli you are right high permeability means it will allow a a an easy passage to the magnetic flux lines i hope it is clear to all of you now please try to understand this core is having a high permeability and this is a coil and this is the current sense as you can see in this winding or the coil this is the current sense if you apply the right hand thumb rule what is the right hand thumb rule you just hold the you just hold the your right hand so that your fingers are moving in the direction sense of the current and your thumb is going to point the direction of magnetic flux i am repeating again you just hold your right hand like this and move your fingers in the direction sense of the current and your thumb is going to point towards the direction of magnetic flux so if you apply this principle here you will get the direction of magnetic flux as in this direction i hope it is clear now please try to understand i am going to tell you one very important concept now the moment you allow a current i in this winding some uniformly distributed in the core or not the flux distribution in the core is uniform or not please answer this question in yes or no please answer this question in yes or no whether the flux distribution inside this core i am telling you that this core is having a very high permeability you can assume almost ideal condition almost ideal condition i am saying very high permeability it is having this core material is having now you tell me whether this magnetic flux is going to be uniform in the core or not that is that is my question anupam verma is saying yes shri krishna manish they are also saying yes now please try to understand if you want to know the flux distribution 
inside the core there are some methods one method i am telling you is finite element method finite element method and the second method my dear friend is boundary element method boundary element method you need not to worry about the details of these two methods but you should uh, you should know you should be knowing the names of these two methods finite finite element method and boundary element method these two methods or tools are used to simulate the flux distribution in different areas not only not only in this core even in the air medium also so my friend please let me tell you very frankly that the flux distribution is going to be maximum in the core but the more you go away from this core the flux distribution is going to be very very weak but still it is not zero it is not zero my dear friend please make this thing in your mind but we want a simple life we want simple calculation we want those results which are practically acceptable so there is one very important assumption there is shri krishna goli beta we are not right now talking about leakage flux i have already told you that uh, the permeability of the core is very very high so most of the flux is going to be present only in the core only i am not uh, right now telling about I, am, i have not told you about leakage flux don't uh, try to be ahead of me just try to listen and try to understand what i am saying i am saying that this flux distribution is going to be maximum in the core and even in this core also there are going to be some areas where flux is going to be maximum and there are going to be some areas where flux is going to be very weak this flux distribution we try to find out by using two methods number one is finite element method or the boundary element method but these two methods are beyond the scope of your examination as far as gate and engineering services is concerned all those people who are going to take up electrical machines and some other particular subjects in your mtech or post graduation you are going to read about these methods in detail i hope now my point is that the first basic assumption the first basic assumption when you are trying to start reading the electrical machines is that the flux distribution is uniform in the core though it is not uniform it is going to be present different different uh, areas it is present differently but we are assuming that almost all the flux is present in the core and it is going to be uniform though it is not uniform i hope it is clear to all of you now please try to understand if you want to know what is the what is the value of this flux so how you are going to find it please tell me just tell me how you are going to find it i am just removing my photograph so that you can see the content on the page and again i will be pasting my photograph so don't worry okay now if you want to know the amount of this flux how you are going to find it please tell me suppose if i am saying that this phi is the flux so you are going to write flux as b dot da where da is the area suppose and this is the surface integration okay now you please try to understand we have assumed this is our assumption we have assumed that the flux distribution is uniform in the core throughout the cross section area of the core it means if that flux is going to be uniform then definitely this magnetic field is going to be uniform across the cross sectional area so this is simply my dear friend it is going to be b into ac what is ac can you see here ac is the cross sectional area of the core so you can find the flux by applying this relation b multiplied by 
area. I hope it is clear to all of you. Now, my dear friend, what is B? B is going to be mu times H. You must be knowing this where mu is the permeability of the core and its value is going to be mu naught mu r where mu r can range from 2000 to 80,000. I hope it is clear to all of you. Yes or no? Is it clear to all of you? Now Manish is asking a very interesting question. Manish is asking sir in MCQs what to choose uniform or not uniform. Now my dear friend Manish it depends on the kind of question which is being put in front of you. If you understand that this question is not up to that level and he is simply asking the general assumption. So you can directly say it is uniform. Okay. But if that question gives you a kind of uh, impression that he wants to know whether it is exactly uniform or not. So if you ask me perfectly then I would say then it is not uniform my dear friend it is very difficult to find the exact distribution of flux. This is one of the most difficult question my dear friend. I hope it is clear to all of you. Now I am putting my image again and now let us go to the next page. And we want to know some more detail about this magnetic circuit because without air gap there is no use to understand this concept of magnetic circuit because whatever machine we are going to read in this particular subject whether it is DC machine or AC machine in all the machines there is going to be some air gap. So we have to understand this concept of air gap. I hope it is clear. Now I have taken one more magnetic circuit with the air gap. I hope it is clear. Yes or no? Now please try to understand. Okay. Now please try to understand. You always remember the Ampere's law. What is the Ampere's law? H dot DL. It is equal to? It is equal to how much? Current enclosed. What is the total current enclosed? The total current enclosed is going to be N into I where N is the number of turns. This is very very important. What is the total current enclosed by this contour? This is going to be number of turns multiplied by the current in each turn. So this is going to be NI. Now what is this NI? This Ni is a very important quantity which we call as MMF. What is this MMF? MMF? Magnetomotive force. Now please try to understand this MMF is nothing but a scalar magnetic potential. A scalar magnetic potential. You must be remembering from your EMFT classes that in case of magnetic field yes in case of magnetic field there are two types of potential one is scalar magnetic potential and another one is vector magnetic potential now if you see this MMF is nothing but the scalar magnetic potential and you must be knowing that this MMF can only exist in current free regions. Which current I am talking about? Conduction current. I hope it is clear. Now the second assumption I am going to give you Second assumption for starting your subject electrical machines I am going to give you is that the displacement current, displacement current is neglected. What is displacement current? JD is the displacement current density. It is due to time varying 
इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ज्यादा डिटेल में नहीं जाना है बट इतना समझ लेना है कि हम डिस्प्लेसमेंट करंट को नेग्लेक्ट कर रहे हैं और सिर्फ और सिर्फ किसको कंसीडर कर रहे हैं कंडक्शन करंट को कंसीडर कर रहे हैं और ये जो कोर का मटेरियल है इसमें सिर्फ और सिर्फ क्या प्रेजेंट है मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स इसमें करंट प्रेजेंट नहीं हो सकता क्योंकि एम एम एफ कैन ओनली एग्जिस्ट इन करेंट फ्री रीजन आई होप इट इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू Now let us go to the next slide and try to understand how you are going to write this. If you go to this, if you go to this circuit, you tell me. If you go to this circuit, this MMF is going to act like your EMF in electrical circuit. We are representing it with Vm, that is the scalar magnetic potential. So Vm is going to do what? Vm is going to do the same thing what we used to do in the electrical circuits. I hope you remember this. so this vm zyan is saying sir first assumption any example beta ye jo assumption humne liya hai na ye jo pehla assumption humne liya hai this is the assumption number 1 What we are saying, we are saying that the flux distribution is uniform in the core. Actually, देखो होता क्या है मैं तुम्हें exactly बता देता हूं अगर आप let me change the color of the pen. If you exactly see the flux distribution, so flux distribution is going to be something like this. Corners पे थोड़ा सा कम होगा weak होगा Corners पे थोड़ा सा कम होगा और most of the flux जो है अगर टू डायमेंशनल देखोगे पिक्चर तो इसमें कंसंट्रेट करेगा जो मैक्सिमम फ्लक्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन होगा वो इस रीजन में प्रेजेंट होगा जो कॉर्नर्स होंगे उनमें वीक होगा कंपेरेटिव टू अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द कोर इन विच इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो एक्चुअली रियलिटी ये है बट अगर आप ये फ्लक्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लेके मैथमेटिकल इक्वेशन को फॉलो करोगे देन इट इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट ये जो कॉर्नर्स है इन कॉर्नर्स पे फ्लक्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वीक होता है बिकॉज दीज आर द एंड पॉइंट फ्लक्स कैन नॉट गो बियॉन्ड दिस दिस इज दैसेज पाथ अवेलेबल फॉर देम आई होप यू यू आर ओके विद दिस सो वी एज्यूम दैट फ्लक्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज गोइंग टू बी यूनिफॉर्म इन दिस कोर देन ओनली यू कैन गिव सम मैथमेटिकल इक्वेश आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस नॉ लेट इज कम हियर आई वॉज से इफ यू सी दिस magnetic circuit what is the what is the mmf here it is going to be number of turns multiplied by the current in each turn so this is going to be n into i yes or no guddu ganesh is saying please speak in english okay definitely i will be mostly speaking in english but somewhere if a person ask me i have to do it in hindi also my dear friend and if you have any issue then you can ask me again and again don't worry about hindi and english now my dear friend this mmf is going to perform the same function what voltage used to perform in case of electrical circuits so what it is going to do it is going to allow like the v voltage allows the current in the electrical circuit this mmf is going to allow the magnetic flux in the magnetic circuit i hope it is clear to all of you now you tell me if the flux is going to if the flux is going to move in this path if the flux is going to move in this path can you tell me what is the obstruction to this magnetic flux obstruction to the magnetic flux this we are calling as reluctance i hope it is clear to you this we are calling as reluctance so you tell me if you want to write the equation close integral h dot dl which is going to be equal to n into i which is nothing but the mmf so this mmf is going to be how much this mmf is going to be how much please tell me एच जी इंटू एल जी प्लस एच सी इंटू एल सी दिस इज क्लोज लाइन इंटीग्रल ये सर नो सो वट इज दिस इफ यू गो टू दीवियस प्रॉब्लम एल 
C we are defining as the mean core length. It means that portion which is in the core. So we are defining it with the help of mean core length and the length of the ga gap or the air gap we are defining as G. I hope it is clear to all of you. It is not just air gap reluctance, my dear friend, though it is having a high permeability, this score, but it still it is also having some uh, reluctance, yes or no? So it is going to be Hg. What is Hg? Hg is the magnetic field intensity in the air gap. And this Hc is going to be H in core. Lg is the air gap and this Lc is the mean core length. I hope it is clear to all of you. Now let us put some values and try to understand how things are going. So if you put Ni and what is the value of this hc and hg suppose it is going to be bg upon mu naught i am putting the value of this hg it is going to be bg upon mu naught and this lg is going to be simply g plus what is the value of hc it is going to be bc divided by you can say mu or mu naught mu r whatever you want you can write it and it is going to be lc I hope it is clear to all of you. Now, please try to understand if you, if you, if you ignore, if fringing effect is ignored, we will try to understand what is this fringing effect. Fringing effect is ignored. Then you can write this BG is equal to BC. Yes or no? That is the magnetic field density in the air gap is going to be equal to magnetic flux density in the core. I hope it is clear. Yes or no? Now, if you put the value of, what is the value of this B, C or B, G? Do you remember? It is going to be phi upon A, C. What is this A, C? A, C is the cross-sectional area. This is going to be the cross-sectional area area just put this value in the previous equation so you are going to get the mmf ni is equal to flux phi and it is going to be lc upon mu ac plus g upon mu naught ag where ag is the ag is the cross sectional area of the gap air gap i hope it is clear to all of you now can you tell me what is this thing can you tell me what is this thing this we are defining as the reluctance of the core and this we are defining as the reluctance of the air gap so this mmf ni is going to be flux multiplied by R total. What is R total? Total reluctance. I hope it is clear to all of you. And now you can define, you can define this flux in terms of number of turns multiplied by the current in each turn divided by R total. Yes or no? And you can define the permeance also. Total permeance you can define as the inverse of the total reluctance. And this we are calling as permeance. Permeance is the inverse of reluctance. Is it clear to all of you? Please tell me quickly yes or no. This equation is clear to all of you or not? Please tell me quickly. Is it okay to all of you? I hope it is clear. 
Now please try to understand, if you are okay with this, please try to understand that reluctance of air gap is going to be much much more than reluctance of core because core permeability is very high. So what is going to happen? R total is approximately going to be equal to Rg. So you can write this flux phi as approximately equal to Ni divided by Ni divided by G upon mu naught Ag. So this is the final expression to find the flux. Is it clear to all of you? Please tell me. Okay. I hope it is clear to all of you. Now please try to understand this is the equivalent circuit. This was the, this is electrical circuit. This is the electrical circuit. And this is the equivalent magnetic circuit. What is this F? F is nothing but the MMF or the scalar magnetic potential that is Ni. This is the reluctance of the core. This is the reluctance of the air gap. And this is how you are going to define the total flux in the core. Now, until and unless it is clearly mentioned that the permeability of the core is very high, you will not ignore the reluctance of the core until and unless it is mentioned. In most of the practical cases, for solving numericals in your gate examination and engineering services examination, you can assume this thing, but you have to write it and you have to be double confident about this. Otherwise, gate is a kind of exam which can, who can, uh, which can trouble you in this particular important concept. You will not neglect the reluctance of the core until and unless it is clearly mentioned. I hope it is clear to all of you. Now friends, very important thing I want to share with you why this fringing of the flux happens in the air gap. This is the air gap. Can you see this air gap? This is the air gap and you will see that just near to this air gap the flux lines they are trying they are trying to bulge out outward i think there is some problem with this figure just remove this figure and try to focus here suppose if this is the air gap so what happens the magnetic lines tries to bulge out like this can you tell me why what is the reason why they bulge out Do you remember the reluctance formula? What is the reluctance formula for the air gap? It is going to be G. What is G? G is this air gap length upon mu naught. Why mu naught? Because it is air gap. So mu r is going to be 1. And this was AG. What is AG? AG is the cross sectional area of the air gap. Now, when the flux travels through the air medium, it try it faces very high reluctance. So it wants to reduce this reluctance. To reduce this reluctance, what actually he does, he actually increase this area so the reluctance is reduced. Zian, please focus here. Please focus here. Flux when it is passing through the air gap it is having very high reluctance and he wants it wants to reduce the reluctance to reduce the reluctance what it actually does it actually increase the cross sectional area of the air gap by bulging out so bulging out is happening because it wants to reduce the reluctance so that he can easily pass out from this air gap i hope it is clear to all of you so friends, this was from my side in today's session. Let me give you some more important information. In tomorrow's class, we will be discussing different magnetic materials, important magnetic materials for your electrical machines. And then we will be slowly picking up your particular exact subject. But these small, small understandings are very, very important to understand the subject from the very basic point of view. Now friends, as you can see on your screen, for the gate 2020, almost 60 plus students were there in the 100 top 100 ranks. Okay. And grade up has started the target gate 2021 and electrical engineering course in which Rakesh Talreja sir, myself, M. N. Ramesh sir, Vijay Bansal sir and Chandan Jha sir, we are taking classes. 
and this is going to be the first of its kind bilingual bilingual classes okay and i will at least suggest you that you should at least start this free trial this is very very important whether you buy this course whether you go for it or not but you should start this free trial but let me tell you one more important thing that till this period when everything is locked down the cost of this particular course is kept to a very very minimum across india you go to any institute whether offline or online the cost is very less let us have some important highlights of this course there are 550 plus hours of live classes 5000 plus practice questions study notes full mock length mock test daily test and subjective test all these things are going to be there okay you are asking the date of free trial i think it should be mentioned yes i will tell you the exact dates also and you can have free of cost you can get this particular course free of cost if you are among the top 200 students because we are going to offer the 40 lakhs scholarship but to avail this scholarship you have to enroll now you can contact this number or you can write mail to this email id or you can contact this person anand pandey at the rate greater.co these are the important dates for the free trial as some people were asking the important dates are 14th april study plan starts with engineering mathematics 25th april last date to enroll for gst you will ask what is gst gst is grade up engineering scholarship test that is going to give you a scholarship of worth 40 lakhs okay 10th may is the last class for engineering mathematics 13th may gst result and this course is going to run up to december 2020 and the videos are going to be available up to 31st march 2021 the same number you can contact same email id you can contact and same back end team member you can contact for any queries my dear friend so friends thank you so much for your time i wish you all the best i hope that this class was somewhat beneficial for you and slowly we are going to pick up this subject but before that we will form our basics which are important for this particular subject i hope this class must have been some kind of uh, value addition for you so don't forget to like this page and share this video with your friends and colleagues and friends don't forget to join me tomorrow same time 8:30 pm we are going to discuss some more important interesting concepts related to the magnetic materials we are going to use or we are using for electrical machines thank you so much friends i wish you all the best we'll see you again tomorrow same time same platform grade up stay safe stay in your home follow the government regulations prep smart score better go grade up thank you so much